In this video, we're going to look at another amount of GCF, but we call it factor by grouping. So basically what we have is this setup where we have four terms. And we're going to factor the GCF out of each set of those terms. So a basic example, something like this, CX plus CY plus bx plus by. So we have our four terms. There's no common factor for all four. So we're going to factor by grouping, which means that we group the first two terms, group the second two terms. And I always take this sign in that second group, and I'll show you why in a second. Take out the GCF from each set. So I take the C out of this set, and I'm left with x plus y. In the second set, I'm going to take that sign with me, that plus sign, and factor out the common factor again, which is b, and I'm left with x plus y. Now I go back and do what I did before, which is take out the GCF from each set. There's a common factor of x plus y and the leftovers of c plus b. But please note it could also be c plus b times x plus y. Okay? Doesn't matter the order, commutative property, that's what shows in that one. Okay? Another example is if I have something like this am minus an minus bm plus bn. And again, same thing, I'm going to factor by grouping. So I group the first two terms, group the second two terms. The common factor we have is A, and I'm left with M minus N. In the second set, oh, I'm going to factor out a negative and common factor of B. Now remember, because I'm factoring out that negative, something's going to change. I'm left with an M, but this sign is going to become a minus because I'm factoring out a negative from a positive, and I have M minus N. Please note I have the same thing in the binomials, which means I did it correctly. So M minus N and the leftovers A minus B. And one more example, and I guess I left a lot of room for it. So I have 3M squared plus 3mn, oop, not up there, keep it down there, plus 12m plus 12n. If you notice this one, I have a common factor for all four terms. It's a 3. So out it comes. So we take that GCF out first. m squared plus mn plus 4m plus 4n. Now we can group these terms. I'm going to kind of put brackets here, make it a little easier to see how I'm factoring. So I have 3. I'm going to do a bracket. Common factor of m. I'm left with m plus n on this one. In the second set, I have a common factor of 4. I have an m plus n. So now it becomes that 3 in the front, common factor, m plus n, and the leftovers, m plus 4. Okay, that's your factor by grouping.